As populations expand across the world, it's simply not feasible for everyone to move from place to place in the traditional ways anymore. This has led to some unique and sometimes terrifying alternatives that people use on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's for fun, efficiency, or simply cheap. The following five transport methods are some of the most insane you'll see anywhere on the planet, some of which are definitely not for the faint-hearted. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Beer Bike, Amsterdam It's a city of many vices, but of the top draws that you would associate with Amsterdam, cycling and beer would definitely be in your top 5. Well, you'll be glad to know that a savvy entrepreneur managed to combine them both together to come up with the world-famous Beer Bike. They're a favorite activity for the stag and hen parties that flood the city every week, as well as tourists who are looking for a unique way to take a look around while remaining refreshed. There's room for up to 17 passengers on these vehicles, with an average tour lasting for 2 hours and including 30 liters of beer. Everyone is sat inwards around a table where the beer is served, and need to continually pedal to keep the bike moving, although there is an electric motor assist to make things a lot easier. Luckily, there's an experienced driver on hand to show you all the sights, ensure everyone has a good time, and most importantly, stay sober. For those people who don't like beer, you're also allowed to bring any drink along with you too to make sure no one's left out. The bikes have been a mainstay of Amsterdam for a number of years, and it's become an attraction in itself just waiting to see the ridiculous costumes being worn by the next group that pedals around the corner. It's not all fun and games though. In a city that was once a small fishing village and now sees 17 million tourists a year, despite having a resident population of only 830,000 people, local residents have come to particularly hate the beer bites. You can hear them coming down the street with lots of rowdy behavior, and they've become synonymous with the wrong kind of tourism. Drunk people spilling beer, being sick, and urinating in the streets is not the image Amsterdam wants to have, and a recent ruling has actually banned the use of the bikes in the city center. With plans to expand to other cities though, it likely won't be long until they're available elsewhere around the world, alongside the similarly designed Prosecco bikes that are aimed at the more discerning customers. Number 4. Ferry, Bangladesh Ferries are used all around the world to transport passengers, vehicles, and cargo across water routes, but none are quite as insane as the ones you find in Bangladesh. The country itself lies on the coast, surrounded by India and Myanmar, and is on very low-lying land. Roads are extremely congested and rarely without traffic jams, so they aren't the most reliable ways of traveling, and many people who live in Bangladesh are simply unable to afford vehicles for themselves. This means that traveling by boat is one of the most efficient and cheapest ways to get around, but it comes with an inherent risk. The problem here is that not enough investment's been made in the infrastructure. There are nowhere near enough boats for the numbers of people that wish to travel, and most of the ferries have fallen into a terrible state of disrepair. Most of them are paddle wheelers that are, in some cases, more than a hundred years old. They're rusting, dented, and would have been decommissioned decades ago in any other country that could have afforded to replace them. This, combined with the fact that there aren't any rules about how many people are allowed to board each one, is a recipe for disaster. It's thought that around a thousand people die per year due to ferry incidents, made up of both commuters and tourists, something that's mainly caused by the ships buckling under the weight that they're carrying. Perhaps even worse is that no one truly knows the actual number of fatalities because no records are kept about the numbers of people that board each boat. Still, this method of travel is so cheap compared to road or rail that in conjunction with the severe overpopulation in the region and lack of alternatives, most people have little choice but to take their chances. If you ever visit Bangladesh, you definitely should think twice before boarding a ferry. They may look like a fun trip, and at a price of about 9 US dollars for a cabin on a 12 hour journey, they are very affordable, but none of the safety requirements you find in many other countries are adhered to here, and you will be taking a massive gamble with your safety. If you do decide it's worth it, it'll definitely be an experience you won't find anywhere else. Number 3. Outdoor Escalator, Medellin, Colombia 
At first, an escalator may not seem like too insane a transport method. After all, we all use them regularly in shopping centers across the world. But there are some that take the idea of moving people to a whole new level, such as the outdoor escalator in Medellin, Colombia. Far from being a means to lazily walk up a flight of stairs instead of using an elevator, these ones are designed for mass transit of people across the city. Medellin, in northern Colombia, is the second largest city in the country and was a very dangerous place in the 1980s and 90s due to extreme violence between drug traffickers, paramilitary groups, and the local police. Something needed to change, so to combat this, the town planners embarked on an innovative plan of urban regeneration to bring peace and vibrancy to the area. The 12,000 residents of one particular poverty-stricken district, Comuna 13, were given a lifeline under this plan. The community is the equivalent of 28 stories high up on a mountainside above the city, and the steep slopes made it virtually impossible for vehicles to reach, leaving the region isolated and separated from the rest of the city. It was also particularly unpleasant after a long day's work to walk all the way up the incline, so the ingenious solution was to build a giant network of escalators. It opened in 2011, and at 384 meters long, is one of the longest in the world. It rises up the mountain in 60 seconds, and the complete journey takes only 6 minutes, all while covered by a bright orange roof to protect from the elements. The escalator has been credited with helping to restore calm to the neighborhood, with crime rates plummeting. The residents are now proud of their homes and have the added benefit of attracting a burgeoning tourism trade due to people wanting to experience the unusual escalator trip and amazing views for themselves. Number 2. Camel Bus, Cuba Cuba is one of the most unique countries you'll find anywhere in the world. Limited by the trade embargo with the US, it's been impossible for them to acquire vehicles and technology like you'd see virtually anywhere else, and at times, it can feel like you're in a place where time stood still. With roads full of classic American cars from the 50s before the embargo began, it's a place full of color. But the roads have a rather unusual means of transportation that's the main way for many locals to travel, the camello, or camel bus. Without the ability to import newer buses, the transportation authorities had to be inventive. These monstrous 18-wheeled vehicles are the product of welding two Soviet-era buses together on a flatbed and then pulling them along with the front of a lorry. They get their name because of the way they dip in the middle, supposedly meaning they look like a camel. You are in no doubt when one is approaching. The smell of diesel, the metallic roar, and the thick black smoke pouring into the air, all announcing their arrival. A mainstay of Cuba's public transportation for the past six decades, each one is able to carry 400 people in extremely cramped, hot, and uncomfortable conditions. They aren't entirely safe on board either. Tourists who want to experience one for themselves are warned to beware of pickpockets, and locals often jokingly refer to the buses as having everything you need to make an adult movie. Sex, violence, and foul language. In recent years, as Raul Castro has taken lead of the country, the famed camellos have begun to be replaced by imported Chinese coaches. While they no longer clog up the streets of Havana, the 1,000-strong fleet is still used in the rural areas of the island, waiting to be replaced. The local residents are unlikely to be sad to see the back of them, but in their day, the Camellos contributed to Cuba's unique character, and in some ways, it'll be a shame the days of seeing these juggernauts rattling down the streets are numbered. Number 1. Bamboo Train, Cambodia This brings us to the most insane method of transport on our countdown, and one that instills fear in the mind of any sane person, Cambodia's Bamboo Trains. The country's railroad had been abandoned during the Civil War in the 70s, and while it began operating again in the following decade, further fighting left it in ruins. This left communities cut off from the rest of the country, so locals came up with their own solution. Known locally as Nori, they are improvised rail vehicles that were designed to allow people to make use of the railway network in a country where not everyone has the luxury of being able to use traditional trains. They're the result of a lack of investment in infrastructure in the past decades, as well as extreme poverty in the north of the country, but have now become a source of identity, effective means of transportation, and a draw for tourists who want to experience what life in Cambodia is like. 
Nori are constructed by overlaying a steel frame with bamboo slats and then mounting the entire thing on wheels that have been salvaged from abandoned tanks. Originally, they were pushed along the rails by using poles, in a similar way that gondolas are pushed through water, but then they were upgraded to use motorbike engines attached to the rear axle. This new design allowed them to travel at up to 40 kilometers per hour, which is significantly faster than the sporadic official trains that also serve the same routes. Drivers will stop anywhere along the tracks for passengers, and the Nori service is given access to transport for people who would otherwise be isolated. If there's another vehicle traveling the opposite direction, it's no worry. Drivers simply lift their platform off the track to one side, let the others pass, then reposition themselves and continue the journey. The bamboo platforms are only a few inches above the tracks though, and there are no safety measures or even brakes on them. This leads to a hair-raising ride for any tourists that dare to board one, with the wheels screeching across the warped and worn railway tracks as you hurtle along at seemingly breakneck speeds. Attempts have been made in recent years to upgrade the national infrastructure so the bamboo trains are no longer needed, but despite endless promises, this is still to happen. The main use now is as an attraction for tourists, as most transport uses Cambodia's congested roads these days, so if you want to go yourself, there's still the opportunity to experience how the locals used to do it. Super exciting news everybody, the time has finally come. Head over to come along and enjoy the positivity from cool life hacks and crazy experiments to real life shocking facts and puzzles and animated riddles to keep your brain active and entertained. Click the circle button on the screen right now to subscribe to this awesome channel that's soon to explode across YouTube. Come on, press that subscribe button and watch the first video. Or click the link in the description. We promise you'll love it.